The numbers have just come in for BMW for the United States and China. Wow, they are screwed. There's absolutely no other way to put this. If anybody reports on this in anything other than a way of saying BMW are at serious potential risk of bankruptcy within a few years, then they are absolutely lying to you. And frankly, you have to question what are their real reasons for saying what they're saying. Now, I personally have no incentive whatsoever for providing you with the facts. The facts show BMW, my friends, is in serious, very, very serious trouble. And this is not to alarm you. This is just to tell you the truth. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Make sure you click that little icon notification bell. Otherwise, you won't get our videos in your feed. You get a bunch of cat videos or I don't know, other stuff that your, um, your kids look up. Yeah. Anyway, you get my point. BMW. Their sales are down in China by nearly 30%. This is within a single quarter. A single quarter. Now, the problem is the same thing is happening in the US. Sales are down in the US by 20%. Um, you know why that is? Well, okay, BMW's electric car sales are up 90% in the second quarter, but it's not happening anywhere near fast enough because of the 560,000 cars that they sold worldwide in the second quarter of this year, of 560,000, only 7% were fully electric. Now, when you see all these reporting numbers, they say, oh, BMW's electric car sales are over 10%, uh, you know, they're whatever, some number, 15%, whatever. It's because they're including hybrids and plug-in hybrids, which, to be honest, the Chinese don't want. And the reality is, right? Okay, what is BMW's market? 80% of BMW's car market worldwide is Europe and China. Europe and China is nearly 80%. And guess what? They're losing market share in every market. It's US, they're losing market share, right? Big time. China, they're losing market share, big time. And, you know, you'd say to yourself, well, this is okay because it's not, I mean, maybe this happened over the course of a year, but it didn't. It happened in a single quarter. It happened in three months, three months. Disruption in China. It's like BMW, if they're not panicking, if Oliver Zips, the CEO, hasn't already been fired for being a Muppet and saying no one wanted EVs. Remember what he said that? He said, oh, we've been selling the i3 for years now and clearly there's no demand for EVs. That's what he said only a couple of years ago. He said that. In fact, it might, might have been only more than, just more than about 18 months ago, something like that. And now look what's happened. Well, he was wrong. And we all knew it. You knew it. I knew it. And now BMW are going to have to pay the price. Now, the BMW group reported 563,500 global vehicle sales during the second quarter of 2022, which is nearly 20% less than a year ago. Last year, do you think they had a good number last year in the second quarter? No, they didn't. That was bad as well. We're down 20% from bad. So that's extra double bad. <laughs> anyway, the relatively weak Q2, the very weak Q2, has dragged down their half-year result to 1.16 million. That's a 13% decrease year over year. Overall Q2 results, BMW 496,000, Mini 65,000, BMW Group total, including those two, BMW and Mini, 563,000. Biggest worrying sign for BMW though is a decrease of 28% in their sales in China to 170,000. Now, as you can see, BMW was about 40% of their sales last year globally were in China, about 40%. And they just lost an additional 28% over their loss that they made in the first quarter. They're, they're down about 15%, right? For the first quarter. Now they're down an extra 28% in China. That's 40% of their market. What happens when they lose that? And don't tell me this nonsense. I've seen some of you comment that the Chinese don't buy Chinese made cars at a premium. Well, look what's happening. What what do you think Neo are? What do you think Xpeng make? What do you think Leap Motor make? What do you think that um, Hi-Fi make? There is, there's a lot of premium electric vehicle manufacturers eating BMW's lunch. Or well, one of them is Tesla as well. I mean, Tesla's eating BMW's lunch as well. Tesla in particular is really eating BMW's lunch in the United States big time. Now, on the positive side, plug-in electric car sales improved in Q2 by 14% year over year to 94,884. But the problem is only 40,000 of those were fully electric. 
the other 55,000 were plug-in hybrids and hybrids. So the reality is that less than 7% of all cars sold by BMW were fully electric. And the problem is with that is that I think, I think what's going to happen is this, right? There's BMW 3 Series electric. You can buy one in China. You know what it weighs? It's a 3 Series, right? It weighs 2.3 tons. It's no bigger than a Tesla Model 3, but it weighs 500 kilos more. In fact, more than 500 kilos more. Why? Because it's a 3 Series. BMW could not be asked to make a proper electric car. They panicked and they just stuffed some batteries into a 3 Series, right? It's still got a transmission tunnel, but no transmission. The thing is, it's a dinosaur. It's an old beast. It's something you would like... It's like, it's something you just like slap together cause you panicked. So of the people who were like, oh, we love BMW. We're, we're diehard friends. We're going to keep buying them. So even if this three series comes along, which is crap in comparison to other electric cars, they're the diehard fans. And they went, well, we'll buy one anyway. What happens when they buy it? And they're like, whoa, okay. We paid a lot of money for this. The range is pretty damn bad because it's so heavy. This is not as good as Tesla's. And when their friends start saying to them, yeah, what do you think of that car you paid so much money for? And they go, ah, uh, it's not very good. Well, do you think BMW is going to keep those people? Are they going to keep them? Are they going to buy their next version of their electric car when it actually finally does come out? I don't think they are. I think there's a good chance BMW are going to keep on doing what they're doing right now, which is losing hard-fought customers, losing them. They're clearly doing that now. They've just lost a massive number of customers in the US over the last two years. The attrition is continuing. But unfortunately for BMW, if it were just the United States, this wouldn't matter. But the fact is that because it's the United States and it's China, their biggest market in the world, you would think, right, that Europe would be the biggest market in the world. It's not. You would think, right, that considering these things, put all this together, well, BMW, my friends, are being disrupted now and the reality is they will need to be bailed out by the German government. There is no other alternative if things keep going the way they're going. Now, so far this year, BMW has sold 75,900 electric cars over the course of the first six months of the year. So that's 12,500 electric cars per month for the entire planet. 12,500 per month. I mean, Xpeng sells that many. Xpeng sells that many electric cars. And that's just a new startup. But Xpeng sold, what, 16,000 electric cars last month in China alone. So you can see here, right, because the media is telling you these sales numbers for BMW and they're including plug-in hybrids and hybrids, it makes it look like BMW is making a lot more electric cars than it's actually making. Now, what is BMW saying their future holds? Well, this is where it becomes, I think, even more concerning. BMW is hoping to hit 200,000 electric vehicle sales right, this year. So maybe they're going to be able to produce an additional 124,000 over the next six months of the year. I think that's pretty unlikely, but you never know. They have opened a, f a factory in China, which will be producing electric cars. So that's a good start. But they're a long way off hitting the 200,000. They need it. They need basically double production in order to hit that number. But let's say they do, and they deliver 200,000 vehicles this year, right? Well, what percentage of their car sales will that actually be? Well, it's still only going to be about 10%. People in China, what are they doing? Very quickly, right? They're saying, do we want a premium internal combustion engine vehicle? Or do we want a premium electric vehicle for the same price? What are they saying? Clearly, the numbers the numbers tell you what they're saying. The numbers saying, they're saying, we don't want a premium internal combustion engine car because we can afford to get a premium electric one. Now, here's the spin that BMW put on it. This is what... Peter Noda, member of the board of management of BMW AG, responsible for customer brands and sales, said, Despite a very challenging environment, we were able to more than double our sales of fully electric vehicles worldwide in the first half of the year. I mean, that'd be like selling five and then saying we sold 10 the next year. Wow. I mean, big whoop. The numbers are what matters. Doubling production means jack if the number is small. It's not just our electrified models that are inspiring customers around the globe. <laughs> okay. Thanks to our innovative and sustainable product lineup, the BMW brand was once again number one worldwide in the premium automotive segment in the first half of the year. While it wasn't in the US, uh, it wasn't in China. I'm not sure where they're getting these numbers from. But soon, numbers won't matter all that much. 
It won't be long before BMW is begging for money from the government, from anyone that can give it a loan. That's my prediction. I'm sticking with it. These numbers prove that basically what I've been saying about BMW for the past 12 months is correct. I predicted this would happen and it is happening. Therefore, you know, what I'm saying now does have some sort of credibility because I said BMW would be disrupted in China. And frankly, my friends, it's happening even quicker than I said it would. But let me know what you think about all this. Am I right? Am I wrong? Am I crazy? Let me know in the comment section below. What do you think of BMW's future? Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.